I just commend you. I admire you uh, for just being a real life example of, you know, what hard work, dedication, self-love, self-care can result. So you are that image of that woman. Oh, you're going to make me cry. Thank <laughs> you. I think I, I thank you. And listen, first of all, having the surgery is no joke. Uh, right. So people who get that surgery, you know, you have to do what you have to do. But I know exactly what you're saying, Ty. A lot of times people get the surgery and then they think their work is done. And I have personally seen people gain way more weight than they actually lost. Because if you don't start here. Absolutely. And you said it all the way. My whole thing is loving yourself to health. You have to love yourself enough to eat better. Because, you know, we all are dedicated to something. We all mm -hmm. think, oh, I can't be dedicated to it. It's, it lacks discipline. And, but here's the thing. You are dedicated to eating that fried chicken. Faithfully. Every Sunday, I'm going to have some fried. I was doing it every day. Like, I had fried chicken every day for lunch. Um, <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is we are dedicated to something. So are you going to be dedicated to something that's going to better your health? Or are you going to be dedicated to something that is deteriorating your health? So you choose. And that's what life is all about. Choices. And you made a very interesting point. Um, we all are committed to things. You know, I always say that no matter, no matter how busy you are, when it's something important to you, you'll do it. I don't care how, from a financial standpoint, um, a lot of times I remember more so in college than now, but because I'm, you know, I've grown and I'm more mature in the way I handle my business. But I mean, well, gosh, when I was in college, I mean, if it was a party or the light bill, I mean, I had to go to the party. party. Like the yeah. <laughs> I got candles. <laughs> so we find time, we find money, we find to do the things that it's important to us. You know, I know women that will spend money on their hair, their nails hundreds and hundreds of dollars for, for it to, to appear from the surface that they are happy, they're healthy, and they look good. And internally, they're, they're you know, they're broke down. Mm -hmm. And um, they're dealing with a lot of hurt and a lot of pain, and they're not happy, and they're not healthy. And you can't just, you can't cover that up. And I just thank you so much for, like, like I say, I don't judge anyone as relates to any surgeries or things of that nature. Um, because we have to, we have to keep ourselves up. We have to. I say all the time, it's no different than wearing glasses or, you know, things start to kind of move around. So it's okay to um, to do a little self maintenance. But um, when you look at, you know, going from uh, three hundred pounds or four hundred pounds to, you know, a hundred pounds, that's a mental process. And I think too, that's why a lot of women. Um, when they lose that weight and they have all the skin, they become more depressed than they were prior to having it because of the, the way it's a process that they did it. And I love the way, you know, you just, again, um, you're our, you're our, our black Barbie because you look amazing and you, you did it the way that I'll say probably, I'll say it this way that God designed us to do things and, and work, um, work toward the things that we we desire so i just commend you for that i commend you for the book for breaking it down for um showing women um it can be done you know i always tell people that you can't give somebody direction to a place you've never been you know and a lot of times you know you got all these experts now that it's a google and a social media who will tell people you know put a price tag on it and say let me help you get here. And then I go look, because I'm going to do my due diligence. I go look at their they bio, or their, you know, their their uh, a resume, if you will. And I'm saying, how are they going to help somebody? They ain't even got there. You know, how, how is this possible? Right. Please tell me. And so what you've done is you have actually worked the steps, put in the work um, to, to deliver the results. And you put it in a book. This is so amazing. You put it in a book, you you a real life example. You got the pictures, the direction, I mean, the instructions on the journey. You capture the journey to show women like, I know it seems very difficult, but I am, I am an example of that. And I love that about your book. Tell us a little more um, what you would want to say to anybody that's out there challenged with um, the book. I mean, challenged with their weight as it relates to the book. 
I, I love how you said that because it's true. A lot of times we are so beautiful on the outside. Because women mm-hmm. spend money. They're going to buy that hair. Right. They're going to get some <laughs> red bottom shoes. they going to get <laughs> some Louis. The, this, and, and, you know, we are going to appear amazing on the outside. All I do is make your inside feel and look as amazing as your outside. Make sure to catch the full broadcast on All About the Authors 520 on Facebook and All About the Authors 520 on YouTube. Don't forget to support these and other great authors and make sure to check out the hosts, All About the Authors. We'll see you soon.